Hey guys, good afternoon. So, for our topic today, um, we're going to discuss two items. First is um, our handlebar. We upgraded our handlebar and um, we're going to calibrate our speedometer with our um, GPS. Because I noticed the other night when I was riding, uh, there seems a little bit, you know, um, the speed. There's a little bit of difference between the speed of GPS and our speedometer of our blade. So we want to correct that as much as possible. We want to have a very accurate reading of our um, speedometer based on the GPS reading. Right. So right now we're going to the diversion road and we're going that's where we're going to set our speedometer. Alright, so It's almost 6 p.m. It's 5.06 already. So I'm hopefully there's not much um, vehicle right now on the diversion road. Uh, so that we can set our GPS and we can discuss a little bit about our upgrade of our handlebar. So right now we're just using gear, gear 3 <laughs> So guys I want to discuss a little bit about our handle, handlebar So the the stock handlebar I think um, if I'm not mistaken the length for that is 65 cm though um, there are some specs uh, on different websites or um, specs from some articles I read it's um, only 64 cm but when I tried to measure it a while ago it's exactly 65 cm so 650 mm and we upgraded our handlebar if you if, as you can see there we have our orange um, aluminum handlebar so we did not opt for a carbon fiber handlebar um, because we cannot find the, the color that we want so we choose the just just choose the aluminum handlebar so this it's color orange as well very nice it matches the color of our scooter which is also metallic orange so if you can see there this is ready 75 uh, not 75 but 74 cm yeah 740 mm um, big difference guys uh, and I did a little bit of modification on the arrangement of our cockpit as well you know so um, if if some of you have a blade gp and i think the same configuration goes with um the fighter 11 if you notice here on the on the throttle they kind of like put the brakes outside so also on the other side brake first then the the lights switch then this one the gear switch 
So that's on the left side. And on the right side, um, the same configuration, they place the brake, then the throttle, then the NFC key. So the, the first configuration, I find it, um, especially on the um, throttle. So I call this, we have, this is a thumb throttle. I, I have a thumb throttle. And I like to call this the push thumb throttle, thumb, uh, thumb throttle. The other thumb throttle is the pull, right? So I, I call that pull and this one is the push. So I don't know if that's the correct term, but I like to call it that way because right now, is if, if you notice here, this is, this is like you're pushing down and the other thumb throttle, you're pulling it, right? So here, I change the when I install the handlebar I change the arrangement because that this one the nut or the, the the volt I mean the screw for the handlebar it's on the way it's on the way of the throttle and um, it sometimes it hurts my thumb because it I'm hitting this screw so that's why um, and for me uh, when I when I when I install the new handlebar it's I, I place the so throttle first then the brake and after that it's very comfortable already so before it, 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 it this screw um, when you're pushing the screw sometimes it gives you uh, pains on the pain on the thumb um, because it's hitting this your thumb is hitting the screw so that's why I replaced it I, I switch it so right now very comfortable if you, as you can see um, I can reach the throttle easily and no problem with the brakes as well I can reach the brakes without any problem and, and um, on the left side as well if you notice there um, I can reach the switch without without any problem as well for the light switch um, signal switch right I can switch it so I think this is more ergonom ergonomic um, arrangement of um, this is for me guys this is I like the I like the arrangement and also the 7 740 mm or the 7 70, 74 cm handlebar is perfect for me so unlike the 65 cm handlebar um, it's it's still comfortable though but um, compared to the 75 74 I mean compared to the 74 cm you have more you know more stability and even I can I can I can even let go of the handlebar if I'm in a good speed without any problem see I'm letting go of the handlebar without any problem so like if ever you know guys our main challenge for the scooter is if ever um, our, our nose is itchy uh, we need to scratch our face then no problem with a 74 cm handlebar we can easily let go one hand um, very stable no problem so that's it this is this is my arrangement of my new handlebar from from right um, we have the throttle then the brake then the FC key and on the left we have the light switch then the brake and the uh, um, gear switch so that's what we did so right now um, we're going to calibrate our um, our speedometer uh, we'll see let's let's so guys just to double check the our speed if it matches the GPS so we're going to set the cruise let's to enable the cruise just press minus and we are ready on cruise so we have 40 and on our GPS we have 37 
So 40 and 37. So it's not really matching. So the speed of our GT um, or on our speedometer we have 40 and our GPS has um, 37. So that means So that means we will go to the advanced settings. No, no, you go to menu, wheel size, and since our day GT, the speedometer is uh, the, the the settings for our, our Blade GT speed is more than the GPS. So that means um, we're going to put it to 10.5. Let's see. We're going to adjust our wheel size to 10.5. Oh no. Um, not 10.5 but 11.5. Okay. Exit. And let's try again. Okay, then enable our enable our cruise so we are running on 36 29 let's check Okay, so we on the GPS, it's reading 28, 29 on our scooter. So one more adjustment, let's try. I think we need to lower the size of our wheel. Let me check. Let's try. Then maybe. Okay. Now it's running on the same speed see guys if you notice um, on our speedometer we have 22 on our GPS it's 24 23 22 so we have a match guys we have 22 on our GPS and we have 22 on our GPS so that means you know if you're sorry for if um, I got the information wrong if if your speedometer is higher than the GPS, so that means you need to um, reduce the size of your wheel on the settings. Alright, so it's we have 22 on the speedometer and we have the same 22 on the GPS. So we ha we now have accurate rating. So our setting is we drop our um, wheel size to ten inches. So another round, and let's have a higher speed if. Another round guys, um, that's, this time let's try a higher speed if it, it's matching. Let's maintain 30. 
Okay, we are now on cruise. Uh, a little bit faster, so we'll try to set our speed to 30. And so to set the cruise, guys, uh, just click minus, hold the speed that the speed that you want, then hold, click minus, and yeah, the cruise is already enabled. So right now our speedometer is reading 32. As you can see there, we are 32, and the GPS is on 30. Right now it's reading 33, but it sometimes it drops to 32. All right. See right now both are in 32. As you can see there. All right, guys. I think um, our speedometer speedometer is already calibrated based on the speed of the GPS. So this is our setting. Um, our wheel size is at ten inches. We drop it to ten inches, though the, the the physical size of our wheel is eleven inches. But on the settings, we change it to ten. Um, just to match just to sync and calibrate the speed with our GPS so right now um, from our last run we're running 32 on our speedometer here on our blade and we're running we are running on 32 on our GPS as well so right now this is pretty much um, you know 99% accurate speed um, we're, we're getting the, the speed reading on our blade um, compared to our GPS so that's how you set or calibrate your speedometer, guys. Um, you don't need to set the, ex the wheel size, the, the exact wheel size of your tire and the wheel size on your settings. Um, as long as you get the accurate reading, that's the important thing. Um, and, you know, um, if you have any questions or recommendations or suggestions, um, you know, uh, feel free to comment you know drop a comment and you know um, let's discuss there so hopefully you hope hope you subscribe guys hope you like this video and hope you subscribe thank you so much for watching thank you